Hello, this is Dr. Kemp Hammondock here. In this video, what I would like to do is evaluate a new 12 AU7 tube. I have my BNK 747 mutual conductance, dynamic mutual conductance a tube tester here on the desk. Here it is. And uh, I'm going to set it up for the 12AU7. And, and basically what I'm trying to do is get a baseline for a new 12AU7. I get a whole lot of tubes into my shop and I'm able to test them on my tube tester and I get different values when I test the different tubes but unless I have an established baseline to know what is new I don't have a standard of comparison so by having this brand new tongue so 12 12 AU7 tube I'm going to use this as a standard of comparison so let's see what I get um, when I set this up, it's uh, already on, and I'll clear it, um, go over here, look for 12AU7, which I found that here, uh, sensitivity, first of all, first of all heater is going to be 12, Sensitivity is 75, and then um, it uh, says test number one, okay? So none of these need to be up. Uh, the, uh, the socket is number seven. Okay, and I can pan up to the meter so that you can see the meter reading. All right, of course, um, I always tell you to check for shorts. No, there's no shorts, of course, it's a brand new tube. Emissions, there's no gas emission, so let's check for, it's uh, already heating up, so let's check for what it gives us, and it says, Brand new tube, 12AU7, is testing <laughs> at 70 on this meter, 70, 71. We're going to let this heat up some. Because I have vintage RCAs, 12AU7s, that test better than that. My vintage, I have vintage RCAs that test uh, above 80. So I'm going to let that tube heat up. So. And I have a few more tubes here that I can try out, but let's try it again. Okay. So it's testing at uh, 75. And that's a brand new Tung So 12AU7. Just pull it out of the box. Let's try this uh, RCA. 
vintage RCA. I I just put it in there. Um, pull, let me pan back. Vintage RCA tube. And I am one of those individuals that are that is skeptical of some of the newer newer produced or later produced uh, items such as tubes. I I believe that the old tubes are better. These old machines are better. I just <laughs> okay. We're gonna give it a try here. Let's try it now. This has got a, this is a vintage RCA tube. Set on seventy five. All right, no shorts, no leaks. Let's see which uh I mean, look at, let me see which test does it give does it say. Now this is a twelve AU seven. Alright, twelve AU seven, twelve seventy five, socket seven, test one. So I can test side one and test side two on this. I test side one. Side one tests bad. Side one tests at uh, 35, 34. That's bad. Side two tests at, at an 80. So what that means is that this is a bad tube. Side one tests at 35. And side two tests at eighty one. So this is a tube that needs to be discarded because one side of it tests bad. So I'll get rid of that tube. All right, let's let's put our let's put our new tube back in again and make sure and let's check 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 both sides of it. I have some other fifty eight so fifty eight fourteens. Let's try side one. Side one of it is seventy. Now this is a brand new tube. Let me show you what it's checking. Brand new tongue sole, just out of the box. Testing 70, 71, and side two is testing 90. So maybe the socket is not tight or something, okay? So it's testing 90, side one, side two is testing, oh, this is side one. Side one is testing seventy eight. Side two is testing ninety one. So seventy eight, seventy nine on side one, and an eighty two on side two. That's a brand new tube. I have another. Brand new tube. Right out of the box. I don't want to tr try out. Let's try this one out. So I'm going to replace this one.
some people who believe in the new tubes, they'll just pull them right out of the box, not test them, and put them in an amplifier, thinking that uh, they're okay. But I believe in even testing new tubes, because you can get a bad new tube. Then I'm going to uh, test some more vintage 12A7s that I have as well. All right, let's see what happens now. Test one. Okay. Got a 90 on test one. I'm going to clean that socket. Okay. So 89. Test two. Ninety two. Test one. Okay, so it's testing very good. Hundred. Okay, it's testing very strong. Ninety. Test two. Hundred. So it's testing very strong. Let me test this other one again. Hold it in the socket like I was just doing. Okay, this is a new tube. No tube. It's just, it's just not as strong as this other one. Um, it's a seventy, just barely showing good. It's good on one side. It's a uh, Again, it's uh, 88 on one side. Okay, 90. And I'm holding it in the socket. And I'm barely an 80 on side one. So it's a good tube. This is a brand new 12 AU7 tubes. So. It's hard for me to determine what the baseline is, so I'm getting some variability. I'm going to try again with another, um, put another new one in there. And there it is, and let it warm up a little bit and see what I get. I'm going to clean that socket, but when I hold that socket, I'm getting uh, 89 on test one and a 98 on test two. So it's moving on up to 100. So this is this tube. This tube seems to be this one. One of these tubes. One of these new tubes seems to be stronger than the other. Well. So I guess, what would I conclude from that? I need to test some more new tubes. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy some more of these new tubes and, uh, and, and test them. Uh, I'm looking at probably around a 90 as a, as a figure, uh, as a standard for these new tubes, these new tongue soles. And, um, but I'll buy some more of these. And, and try them out and see what I get, okay? So until the next video, this is Dr. Kim Hammondock saying to you, have a nice and wonderful uh, day. Goodbye.